Hi everybody, Martin at Flick and Feathers again today. I'm tying the Bream Killer, or the Brim Killer. Uh, it's an excellent wee warm water fly. It's obviously designed for panfish, but it works great for largemouth bass and smallmouth bass. Uh, fished under an indicator or under a popper or a, a big hopper or something. Um, well worth having in your box. Now, as always, I'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page. And the PayPal for anyone that wants to support the channel, get access to the monthly fly tying classes and enter the giveaways. Alternatively, you can like the video, comment, share it, watch it all the way to the end, that all helps the channel. So I've got my hook in my vise, this is a size 8 TMCO 200R, so it's this sort of continuous bend larva hook. And I'm just weighting it with a uh, 0.15 lead wire 10 wraps you can make it heavier, you can make it lighter it's entirely up to you and I'm going to position the lead ahead of the, the halfway point um, I want the weight here rather than being in the midpoint or further back so that this hook will flip right? I tie this so that it fishes hook point up rather than the original way um, and on, with it, because of the shape of the hook and where I put the wing and the lead it will always turn over so I'm starting some uni 8 aught fire orange but use whatever colour you like I'm just putting a wee base thread down. To about the barb. I'm going to get a length of olive chenille. I'm going to strip the core. And it makes a much better tie in. Just catch that, run forward with my thread, and just smooth out this gap onto the back of the, the lead wire. Tidy up, make sure that's nice and secure. You don't need to be super fussy, but I'll come out and apart my thread. So, just get the bobbin cradle. And I'm going to throw a wee bit of varnish cement onto the thread wraps before I wind the chenille just to strengthen the fly. You don't need to use super glue, the, the cement will just kind of soak into the core of the chenille and it will make for a stronger body. And I'm just using the rotary here coming up. I'm going to come onto the lead, so that's say like two thirds of the two thirds of the flyer. So I can tie it off. There's three tight wraps, and fold it back, tie over it. Just get that in the material clip out of the way. Now I'm going to turn the hook upside down. Right, so I think it makes a lot of sense to have this fishing hook point up. It makes it more slag resistant, you're less likely to dull the tip of the hook on a rock or whatever. Um, it has no negative impact on how the fly fishes. And actually, I found, especially with the bass, not so much the panfish, but with the bass, I tend to get a better hook up in the, in the roof of the mouth. So the wing is just squirrel tail and it's squirrel tail of dyed olive. You know, this is, I mean, I assume it sort of looks like a dragonfly nymph to them when it's in this colour, but I mean, by all means, tie them fluorescent yellow or black or whatever, you know, any colour that you like. So we've got a wee bunch of squirrel. I'm just pulling all the rubbish at the bottom. I'm going to 
tie it in so it's like just coming beyond the back of the hook. Pinch that in. See how it looks, just lift it up. That's fine. And we're going to come in and cut this at an angle. Don't miss any hairs. And then, same, get some cement on this. The squirrel's very slippery. There's you no harm, right? So we'll just come in, we'll come from the front, and we'll cut the thread in to the butt ends. Right, and we'll just tie that back, make sure it's, I can just see on your side there's a wee gap, so make sure it's hard up against the chenille body. And now I'm ready for my rubber legs. I'm going to get four, just five here, and I like to keep them together. One, two, that's six. There we go. So I've got my stack of four legs, good counting. Um, and I, there's, see a hook and a half long. Get them, tie them, sort in the midpoint. Three wraps of threads enough. And then I'll advance my thread to the front. Probably half hitch one just for safety. Because you might bounce your thread here. And then it's just a case of coming in with a chenille. I get a nice wrap in behind the legs there. Like one in between, and then come on in front, get a nice tight tie in, and tie up to the eye, and then tie that off. Hold that back and sort of wrap over it. Again, you're just locking it in, right? It's, the snail's doubled. It gives you a very secure tie in. Trim away, take away any wee bits of fluff. And then, just tidy up your head. We tidy up. And then whip finish. Obviously use the tool if you prefer, it doesn't matter. Um, both are fine, tying it by hand or tying it by the tool. I don't know why there's ever any debate about it. So, right, the legs. Now this, is imp this I think is also important because it's part of the what helps to keep the fly definitely riding the right way up. I'll just separate the two pairs of legs. And then I'll take the two on my side, stretch them, and I'll pull them onto the side. And then I'll do the same on your side, stretch them, pull them sort of onto the side. But I keep them above halfway, right? The, the, the underside here, so the lead is still like below the legs. And then I'll just separate them. Same on this side, separate them. And you can stretch them and position them, but they'll they'll never pull out. They'll break, but they'll no pull out. And then, bit of cement on the head, and you're done. So there you go, that's the brim killer. Brim killer. Very, very, very effective wee fly. It's great for the warm water box. And I'm sure you could catch trout on it in the still waters as well. So, I hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, 
Remember to like the video and I'll see you for another one. Bye lines guys, bye.